Me and Christophe have been working together since uh, 2005. I've never lived in the same city as Christophe since we started working together. At one point I lived in Berlin, now I'm splitting my time between Sao Paulo and New York. And he lives in Paris, you know, so we don't actually live in the same place. But you want to know the truth? I mean, I think sometimes we're like, um, we know each other super well. I mean, we've been apart for almost a year, physically, I'm saying, because then we are like... More? What, since? April. Yeah. A, more than a year. Yeah, I mean, oh my God, you're so picky. <laughs> yeah, a year and a month. <laughs> <laughs> I think our minds are connected, but then there's like this physical thing <laughs> that we need to get used to again. You know what I mean? I think we need to focus more. We needed something that was quieter. When I was making installations before, I was creating a space in which people could actually be as spontaneous as they would like to. But the thing is, for me, it was never absolutely spontaneous because I had so much you know, production that I had to take care of. We felt that we needed to do less with other collaborators and dealing with emails and production issues. And I felt like, okay, this is like one other reason why I wanted to make paintings, because that, that way I can actually be more spontaneous myself. I think it's also about getting older, too. The pleasures are closer to you. For the show in New York, even though we influence each other, we actually go into different directions. I'm making this group of paintings and he's making another group of paintings. He's going in a more abstract, geometric way. I'm thinking more about the figure. I just wanted to bring that idea that somebody can transform their bodies at their will, and that's an act of freedom. In our show last year in Sao Paulo, we made this piece called Trans Geometric, which were half trainee bodies and half geometric shapes. So somehow I felt like the strainies could be transformed into a full-on geometric shape with time. This is a position, so you have the, like this part, which is like the butt here, and there's like a, how do you say, a bow, like a testicle? The two nails, and here you have like the other butt with the legs, like the thigh, there's one boob coming out of it. And then here you have the calf, yeah. Do you see it? Mm -hmm. With like, this is like another boob coming out of it. Another one here. And then you have the beginning of the foot, of the heel here. I was looking for a different sort of uh, representation of the female figure, uh, different from what I usually look at, which is like the, the porn. Something that I always somehow wanted to absorb in our installations to mix low and high references. And now that I'm making paintings, I feel like I have to do that in one single iconic image. It could be higher, I guess. No, I think it should be lower, probably. Oh, but look, I like how it's like, you know, it's not a line with this, it's below this one. This was pretty much the very first positioning we had came up with uh, very quickly. Well, I think sometimes like the, the more spontaneous you are <laughs> yeah, it was funny can then. be the better. And I think, yeah. So we the way went well, back. We fine. did a few adjustments. That's pretty much the, the way we thought at first. There was a lot of debate between us if we should just install the painting on a white wall or if we should still conceive some sort of special environment to place the canvas on the wall. And then we went for the mural which is like a continuation of what we would have done in the past with wallpaper. We start titling our shows with these different uh, combos according to the different combinations you could do with AVAF. The title of the show is Adderall, Valium, Ataxan, and Focalin, which are like usually drugs which are prescribed to cure like kids' attention disorder. 
They cannot focus more than half an hour in classes. It's a big change to be concentrated on one media, but we both needed some time we were just more devoted to the actual making. It's a lot of work, but actually I'm having a lot of fun and pleasure working right on the canvas.